Sunny Donnelly, IFL TV in association with Matkins Jim Marbella. I'm here in Hammersmith today for the George Groves Media Workout ahead of his fight on Saturday night. With me, I've got promoter Nissi Sowland. Uh, firstly, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm doing very well. Yourself? I'm great, thank you. Uh, George Groves working out today. He looks fit, looks in great shape. Yeah. How's he been? I think above all, he's, uh, he's, you know, he seems to be loving boxing again. I've been down here a few times, uh, watched him spar, watched him do the pads with uh, Shane. Um, his movement is different. His movement seems to have come back again. Uh, he's moving in and out a bit more, moving onto the back foot, throwing, you know, just 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 varying up a little bit more. And um, no, you know, I think they gel really well together. I think Shane's a great young trainer, um, and I think you're going to see a rejuvenated George on Saturday night. And I, think, I, I fancy him really doing a job on the Italian. Do you think after the Froch losses and then the the Jack loss, that it sort of dented his confidence a little bit? No, I, I don't think so. Um, I think uh, George is uh, one of the most confident people I've ever met. Um, he's, he's, uh, you know, he's got a very strong head on his shoulders, um, and uh, you know he has the boxing ability to box back that up. Um, he's got, a, you know, probably one of the quickest jabs in the game, and, and, and a massive right hand. And you know, and what, what more do you need? Obviously, the domestic clash between him and James DeGale all them years ago was was massive. And it could potentially be even bigger if it did, was it, if it was to happen. Do you think he could get in that position? Uh, you know, I think he's always in that position. Um, I think that fight would, uh, you know, sell out a big stadium. Uh, even if both of them weren't champions, or they were British champions, I think, or uh, James was a British champion at the time. Um, I think that fight is just. Uh, I don't think anyone needs a world title, but it's also a question of a uh, you know, negotiation basis. Um, George. You know, sells the most tickets, and but right now James is a world champion, so we need to get ourselves a, a belt to uh, bring it to the table, so we can negotiate. Um, you know, on eye level. Obviously, away from this division and George Groves, the heavyweight division at the moment is absolutely pumping, especially in Britain with the likes of Tyson Fury, a fighter that you've got, Derek Chisora. He's there's been a lot of stuff going on with Hellenius, I believe his name is. What has actually yeah, happened? You know, uh, we've taken Derek's had three quick wins. Um, you know, it's uh, it's always uh, you know uh, an entertaining you know road with uh, Derek. You know, uh, he's uh, you know we we're meant to fight against uh, Robert Hellenius, um, who we have a legal dispute with at the moment, uh, and also I believe uh, a criminal dispute in, in Finland against uh, people around him. Um, we offered him a very large purse. We also offered to do a co-promotion with them. Uh, but, you know, embarrassingly for him, um, he backed out of the fight for no apparent reason. Fair enough. Uh, obviously, as well in the heavyweight division, David Price suffered that loss to... T t I'm going to get your pronunciation wrong. Do you want to go for it? Erkan Tepper, Erkan I believe. Tepper, I believe that is the one I'm talking about. Um, it's now gone down as a non-decision. What what happened there, and ha what's happening from here on out? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the way it's been treated is an absolute joke. Um, I think that we need to look at uh, drug testing in in, in 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 boxing on the whole a little bit closer. Um, the fact that uh, you know there's an argument that it should be a no contest or not a no contest. Quite simply, the guy got in there was allegedly on uh, this and that, the guy has the self-confidence to know that he's always got that in his reserve. Uh, even, even, and, 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 you know, he feels invis invincible. I think that gives anyone an upper hand, you know, and, and, and he, he stormed out like a bull against David. Um, you know, I'm not, David, I believe, you know, still has a great deal to offer the heavyweight division. Um, a lot of people may look at me and say, oh, no, he's, he's not, you know, he's, he's terrible, he's this and that. The guy's sold out arenas, the guy's knocked out gold medalists, the guy's won British titles, the guy's won uh, Commonwealth titles, the guy's challenged for a European title. I still believe that David has a lot to offer with the right guidance and uh, the right mental attitude. Um, and at the moment, we're, we're, he's looking for, for trainers and we will have an announcement soon about it. Speaking of David's in the heavyweight division, David Hay made his comeback yeah. uh, last week. What did you make of his performance? Um, you know, I, again, you know, it, was, it wasn't, 
you know, I don't, I don't ever like to to, to, to to insult a boxer's display, but he wasn't up against the strongest uh, opposition. Um, however, he looked like he put on a bit of meat, um, and I think it suited him well because he hadn't lost the speed of his hands or what I could see of the brief fight. Um, and, you know, to sort of, you know, uh, throwing, sort of moving and throwing a right like he did, it's a classic boxing move, but uh, I don't know how many of the heavyweights now it's going to work on. But, uh, you know, that being said, what I did see of his uh, comeback fight, he looked strong. And obviously, I know that you deal with a lot of the Nordic scene. Yeah. Uh, Kevin Mitchell is challenging for the lightweight European title over in Finland. Yeah. Uh, his opponent, I can't pronounce his name yet again. Uh, Edis Tatley. That is the man. Uh, do you know much about him? Because obviously. Yes, yeah, I do. Um, he's he's uh, strong. You know, I think I think I think I think it's a 50-50 fight. Um, I think if, if if Kevin Mitchell turns up, you know, like he did uh, a couple of fights ago, um, you know, I think I think Kevin can win. But um, it just depends how much the last couple of fights have taken out of him. And obviously, I'm sure you've maybe been to a fight in Finland. Uh, what's promoted what? there? Uh, well, there's even Robert Helenius. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Let's not mention that name. Not no, no, no. Uh, and Froch. And oh, Froch. Froch Abraham. Oh. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my boxing knowledge out the window. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, what's it like out there for the travelling fans? Is, is it a good? Oh, it's, I'll tell you what. I've had a, many a good nights out in Finland, in Helsinki to, to be specific. Um, the locals are very accommodating, and uh, you know it's a really it's a lovely weekend away, and it's a great arena that I believe they're going to have the fight in. So it's definitely worth a trip. Well, the East London faithful will hopefully go out there yeah. and support our boy. Obviously, more important for you, George Groves on Saturday night. Hope it all works out for you, and he has a massive 2016. Cheers. But until next time, this is Salon. Thank you for watching to IFL TV. Thank you very much.